Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I want to show you how you can easily do a time lapse using Adobe Premiere CS6. You can also do this with CS5, but um, I have CS6 here, so I just want to show you how easy it is to do. So first, what you want to do is create a project. I'm using a preset that I created. Um, it's basically a 1080p uh, preset at 30 frames per second. And right now I'm just importing all my pictures from a time lapse that I shot a few months back while I was in London. I have about 153 images in this time lapse. And basically the whole time lapse took about 30 minutes to record. And I think I took one picture every 10 seconds. So now that you have all of your images imported, you can just drag them over onto your timeline. And by default, each image is set for five seconds. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is actually reduce that because five seconds is a little bit too long for a time lapse. So instead of adjusting each image individually, we can actually select all of them on the timeline and then right click and then hit speed slash duration. You're gonna need to change that duration from five seconds to something a lot faster. So a half a second for now is pretty good and then later on we'll test out and see if we need to go a little faster. Once you have your time chosen, make sure you check the last box. Checking that last box is actually really important. It'll automatically ripple delete all of the dead space between each image without you having to go individually into each one and deleting that space. Previewing the time lapse can be a real big resource hog, so change that half to a quarter and you should be able to get a better performance playback. The reason why I'm not seeing much of a benefit when I try to preview is because I'm doing a live recording at 1080p and basically right now my video card is screaming for help. Once you're happy with your time lapse, you're going to want to do one more step. You're going to select the whole time lapse, right click and then click nest. It'll actually combine all the images into one video clip. Uh, the next step is to just export the file. So I'm using the H.264 and I'm going to select 1080p at 30 frames per second. All the other settings I'll just leave at default. And I think the overall file will be a 38 megabyte file. Now we're going to wait for that to export. Oh look, it's done. The power of editing. Now we're going to preview the file and it's probably not going to play smoothly. So I'll just play it in the timeline. So here's how it looks. I mean, it came out pretty awesome. I sped it up a little bit more. Half a second was a little too slow. I jacked up the speed duration from 100% to 200%. So that concludes this video. If you found it helpful, please let me know. Leave a comment, hit like. That actually helps me out a lot. And if you want, check out my latest two videos here. On the left, we have a GoPro burst mode sequential picture tutorial and on the right, I have my crazy cart giveaway video, so make sure you check that one out too. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.